Hello, I'm Gary Miyakawa and I'm a diver. I want to talk a little bit on today's video about focus for the Olympus TG6. We uh, started out having a few issues trying to get the right focus and I've read on several forums other people having these problems, but once we figured it out, life got a lot easier. So what I want to go over is what we figured out on focusing, especially macro diving on the TG6. So I'm going to switch uh, layouts and let you see there's my TG6 uh, and this is my layout board so you can see what I've got and these are squared off in inches so you can get an idea how far away or how close I happen to be. Now I'm in aperture mode uh, you can see in the bottom corner of the screen um, that's uh, aperture 125th at an F9. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and squeeze the focus and get a focus on it and now I'm going to take a picture and sure enough that looks great very sharp very easy uh, straight up aperture mode now I'm going to move this little guy into about halfway uh, from where he was he was at four inches I'm going to move him to just a little more than two inches now I want you to see what happens I'm looking for that green box that tells me I'm in focus uh, well, I took the picture, but I didn't have a green box, and I'm not getting a green box. What's wrong? Well, that's pretty simple. I'm too close. So if I back him back out to about three inches, squeeze the trigger again, and sure enough, I have focus. So that being said, what you need to watch out for is if you're in any mode other than the microscope mode, you may run into a problem with focus. Now remember, you have two microscope modes. They are in straight up photography and also in the underwater side. So we'll look at both of those in just a minute. So if I take and I move that guy back to, oh, let's say two inches almost exactly, as you can see, and I go to take a picture, I'm going to get a blurry mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide over to the microscope mode and I'm just going to use the standard microscope mode. Nothing fancy, none of the super duper microscope mode or the bracket focus. Um, and I'm going to set there. I'm just going to squeeze it and sure enough, I got a picture and it's in focus. Now I'm going to move this guy up to where he is and you can see down He's almost touching the lens. He's within a half an inch or less of the lens. And guess what? I'm going to get a sharp area. Now, one of the problems getting this close is you start to get a uh, lack of depth of field. And so uh, that's where that bracketing uh, set can help you. The problem with bracketing is it takes multiple images over multiple seconds and if you're trying to get a picture of a nudie bronc and hope he's not going to move for 10 seconds, you're dreaming. Or a blenny or something like that underneath. So I'm going to shoot that picture again. And sure enough, we have a nice sharp image. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over just straight underwater mode. Okay. I'm not going to do underwater microscope mode. So I'm going to go back over here to just the basic underwater mode. Now this mode is really designed, I'm going to put them back to about four inches or about three inches. This really is designed for the snorkeler. That's why the face on there kind of looks like a snorkel. If I try to squeeze off focus, I will get focus at three inches. And that's fine. That works well. Now I'm going to come down to two inches and let's see what happens. Well, I got focus, but on his feet. Why am I focused on his feet? And you'll notice he's blurry. Now his feet are fins are nice and sharp, but uh, notice how it's moving around. Now it's actually got focus on a piece of my board. Well, when you're in this mode, he looks for something to be sharp. If you're snorkeling and you're taking a picture of something that's four or five feet away, it's all gonna be sharp and it's going to be fine. It's in these macro up close issues or areas that you'll run into a problem. So how do we get around that? Well, I'm going to go out of the scene and come back and I'm going to tell the camera 
to go ahead and use, well, let's try macro, not microscope mode, but macro mode. And let's see what we have. And it zooms in and we got to zoom it back out. So we're in microscope mode or macro mode, excuse me. And I'm not getting focus. I'm still getting blurs. Now, if I go back out to three inches, remember that magic three inches. All right. Sure enough, I've got focus. To get around that, we have to go into microscope mode. So I'm going to come out of the scene and go back into the scene and slide over one more to microscope mode. And I'm going to now move him back to two inches. And sure enough, I've got a picture in underwater mode, microscope mode. Now, for you who want to practice this, this is a great way. What I'm doing right here is a great way to practice. If you saw my other video, I had some Pokemons. So you could use those guys to practice on if you wanted to. You could zoom way in on them and get used to being able to take a picture up close. Now, one of the things I did in a previous video is I made a board that has all kinds of Pokemon, Pokemon characters on it. Now, do they have to be Pokemon characters? Absolutely not. You could actually go out and pick up a couple rocks off the sidewalk and literally put them on something and be able to take pictures of those. You're just looking to practice focusing. Not only do you need to practice focusing, but you need to practice sometimes up close and sometimes far away. So if I want to take a picture of this little guy right here and I'm up close, that's fine. I got a little too much light on him, but that's, you know, you understand the focus itself was very good. Now let's say instead I wanted to have a picture of this little guy way out here on the end. And I'm going to zoom in on him. And then I'm going to get my half focus. And sure enough, I've got a good picture of him. Now, one of the things that you have to be careful with is if you say, okay, now that I'm in microscope mode, uh, I can't take a wide angle picture. Well, it's not ideal. You certainly want to move back to another uh, setting to take your wide angle pictures. But if you are sitting in one of your other settings, and I'm going to change this back to, um, uh, let's get over here, right there, to aperture mode, okay? I'm going to take that same picture in aperture mode, and you're going to see it looks almost identical. Yet, if I get too close, aperture mode is going to do what for me? It's going to cause a problem because it can't focus. I'm at two inches there, and I did get focus on him. Oh, but it's not a very good focus, is it? That's not very good at all. I'm going to go back out to three inches and see if I get better. And sure enough, at three inches, I've got excellent focus. I hope that helps you understand what you have to do to get focus. Most of the time, you're looking for that green square in the middle of the screen to make sure you're in focus. But you have to keep in mind, if you're up too close, you're going to have a problem, even if you get the green square like I did there. You'll notice I got the green square, but I'm certainly not in focus. Okay? In that situation, when you're up close, think microscope mode. Do your adjustments. Now, while you're practicing this at the table, the kitchen table, or wherever you choose to do it, okay, you need to move your adjustments. It needs to become second nature. Oh, I'm too close. All right, let me go to microscope mode. I'm too far away. Let me go up back to aperture mode or just normal mode from that standpoint. So you need to practice these things. It needs to become second nature so that when you're underwater, you're not having to fumble. So please, if you have a chance, subscribe to my uh, channel here. We're going to have some other slides and some other videos. Uh, I'm working on a video for snoots. Uh, using the backscatter micro flash or mini flash, excuse me, snoot. Uh, and it seems to be doing very nicely. We'll show you how we practice it and how we can uh, use it. Uh, we're going to use it above water 
and uh, just as a practice exercise. So if you have a chance, again, uh, subscribe or li and or like the channel. And always remember, it's dive, dive, dive time somewhere.